moving on to the next story. A sad one, actually. Popular actor who goes by the name of Junior Pope um, posted a video of himself a day ago mm -hmm. where he was on a boat on the phone and recording. Next thing we see, the guy behind him on the boat, they were crossing the Niger River. I uh, was speeding, speeding heavily. And he was joking and laughing about it and saying, please slow down. I have three children. Mm -hmm. And look at me lamenting. Eh? Lamenting about how speedy this thing is moving. Mm -hmm. I have three children at home. Please, can you move slower? Eh? I'm giving you content, but I'm scared for my life. That's why he kept saying it. In jest. Yes, he was laughing about it. Absolutely. Next thing we hear, apparently he's in hospital. An accident happened he drowned on the niger river right but then you go to the comment section of the of, of this post where people are like he's gone he's gone the same post that he posted he's gone he's gone someone who apparently works in the kitchen at the hospital he was in she she says oh no he's fine he's actually in hospital uh he's recovered he's okay he's breathing he's fine so we're like what do you mean he's okay he's breathing is fine because yeah actually the post um under the post the comment section that's what she, this person said. She said, um, he's alive. I am working at the hospital, in the hospital kitchen. He's breathing. And this is like 21 hours ago. So a lot of people are like, please be serious. Is he, is he not? Guys are saying, God bless him for healing. A lot of people were like, he's alive. Please, what am I hearing? Is he okay? Has he been resuscitated? It led to a lot of rumors and a lot of people just trying to find out the information. Is he okay? Is he okay? Has he been resuscitated? What's the story? It, it, it was just a very confusing batch of information. But unfortunately, it, it apparently has been confirmed that um, this very handsome actor passed on mm. from drowning on the Niger River. And now the controversy of, okay what's going on because apparently not only he wasn't the only person off of this particular production that has passed on apparently two other people have passed on and so everyone is asking what's happening with this production what is going on because uh it says um you know it was two people right yeah it says that two more people from this uh from this production actually have passed on so guys are asking the production company what's going on what's going on what's happening with the guild because now it's what how many nigerian actors have passed on in the last month mm -hmm. about three we had um the father from uh, what, papa and aki and popo mm -hmm. we had the other guy who's also an actor i forget his name mr ibu mm -hmm. we have now uh, unfortunately, Junior Poop. It's uh, it's becoming a thing where people are like, is it that because they're popular, it's becoming big news? But, or is it that Nigerian actors are passing on right, left and center and an explanation needs to be given to people? So it's one of those very conf confusing bits of information. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, as it as at now, it has been confirmed that Junior Pope popular actor from Nollywood has passed on from drowning on the Niger Delta. Yeah, I, I feel like technology is such a good thing, so revolutionary, but the downside of it is just misinformation. Misinformation is horrible. Because imagine even the people, his, his wife, his children, people who are not aware of this tragic accident, finding about this on, on social media. Because I remember when it happened, uh, people just posted pictures of him, R.I.P., 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 R.I.P. And then guys are like, oh, they're still searching for the bodies in the river. As in there was so much information, but you're not quite sure if this is true. And then after a while, somebody like in very senior management uh, from his production company, I think it was AGM, mm -hmm. put up an Insta story saying, you guys, he is still alive. He is in hospital. Yeah. So send your prayers. Yeah. And then 30 minutes later, he took it down. He took down the post. Yeah. So now we're like, guys what's happening is he alive is he not alive and then come the comment section yeah i feel like some people are just trolling just for the fun of it and that's the most unfortunate part of it because what do you mean you work in the kitchen what do you mean i'm a worker at this hospital and yes i saw him he's alive how do you know if his Kwani, this hospital is like a small you know if i was admitted today at kenyatta would a person in the kitchen know anything about my health status so i feel like you decided to, de deciding to ride on the wave and seeking i don't know 
it's not even popularity at this point because for what? What was the reason for spreading such in misinformation about somebody who is dead? You forget he is someone's father, he is someone's son, he is someone's husband. You're just causing chaos for apparently no reason. But you know, to, to date we're still not quite sure. We're, we're not quite sure whether he's still alive or he has passed away. We don't know. But yeah. yeah. It's all very confusing. Yeah, it is. It's all very, very, very confusing. And also the fact that two others have drowned yeah. in the same production. It's giving, hmm. And then the production company then decides we're going to try and cover this up. It's giving very controversial mm -hmm. unnecessarily. It's like unnecessary controversy. L imagine if you're the wife and you do yeah. not have information. You're and in you're a different country. you're trying to find out what's happening. And you know, everyone just goes online to see what's happening, what's happening, what's happening. Mm -hmm. And every two minutes you're told, oh yeah, he's still breathing. Okay, cool. All right. Oh no, he's dead. Oh no, he's dead. Okay. Oh, what, what, the anguish that that must put anyone in. The friends and who the are friend. away. You're hoping he's you know? alive somewhere. Yes, it's a person who works at the hospital, which means they've seen him. He's breathing. You know, you are a, you are now a pillar of information. You are like reporting news live. It's, it's kind of like giving that information. If I am live watching something and I'm telling you, yeah, what I see in front of me is a cockroach, which is now, you know, dancing, crossing the Oscars. And here is a picture. Of course, I'm going to believe you because you're there reporting live. So it's, it's just, we just need, I don't even know what the words are. Let's stop being journalists when we're not journalists. If you're, if you're not a journalist, stop it. Mm. We, sometimes we don't really need your input. Like, honestly, sometimes mm, we don't need you to be the authority of this information. Mm -hmm. We really don't. We don't need you to give us information as if you are an authority figure. Please, you're not a journalist. Leave it. True. And this is the same stories we've been having a conversation about. Remember Offset? It started with a, a, a bizarre amount of just people giving information unnecessarily. Offset? Uh, offset? Take off. Take off. Passed on. People are recording his body, surely. Surely. Posting him in his unalive state. Let's not even forget Brian Shira. Same thing happened, right? Mm -hmm. People started posting his, Pictures you know. Pictures from the morgue. What, to what? Where is this, the sanity and the dignity in someone's death if we're going to make such a farce out of every little thing? Let these people rest in peace.